In Tuesday's regularly scheduled Cascade County Commission meeting, one of the agenda items was a motion to cancel over $650,000 in unpaid personal property taxes. Those taxes have been delinquent for five or more years. The motion passed unanimously, but not without objections. Per Montana state law, the commission is required to cancel taxes for deficient properties on a list provided by the county treasurer, something that didn't sit well with Commissioner Joe Briggs. We have a problem with just writing off debt and let people skate. But my understanding of the statute is we don't have a choice. The reality is, is a lot of these properties will not change hands as a result of this action and get somebody new. We'll just start accruing new unpaid taxes from the same scoff laws. Other action taken by the commission included approval of a proposal to purchase four new all-wheel drive motor graders for just under $500,000. Well, the city's plan to use tax increment financing funds for the $5.5 million repairs to the downtown Civic Center facade cleared another hurdle this afternoon. The Great Falls Planning Advisory Board unanimously approved a motion to make an amendment to the Downtown Urban Renewal Plan, which allows the city to use TIF funds to complete the repairs. Access to the Civic Center was restricted after the front panels started to crack and buckle. The city proposed using TIF funds to avoid raising public taxes, but some of the downtown community would also like to see that money be used for upgrades to private buildings. For more on this story, you can visit KRTV.com.